We're here at the Akron Rib White and Blue Festival here in downtown Akron. This is going on until Saturday night. It ends Saturday night at 11 for the next couple of days. We are here 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. right here at Main Street, downtown Akron, right in front of what will soon be uh, Lock 3. We had a chance to interview several of the food vendors here, and none of them would share with us their secret recipe, but they all talked about why they love being here at the Rib White and Blue Festival in Akron. Because we got the best ribs at Grill Masters. There's a whole lot of other vendors down here. I'm not gonna, you know, say they're not any good because they probably are, but we are the best. We've been in Akron. We've been in business for what eight, nine, ten years now. Yeah, we're actually located usually on Manchester Road where Young's Restaurant used to be. We're there, but now that we have this event, we're here for this event. And then um, next week we'll be here for the um, for the uh, Italian Fest. So I'd like to see the Akron community and everybody come together and just have a good time and celebrate the Fourth. And not just don't just use coals, use wood chips. It's the best. So the event is for everybody in the community that loves the traditions that they have in Akron and you know we all come together as a family and be more uh, uh, more and diverse in, in, in a culture here but uh, today we're gonna we have a stray dogs truck uh, we have ice cream we got pickles uh, we got uh, corn dogs we got hamburgers come down here uh, we're having a great time we're gonna be here for a couple days Oh my goodness, yes, definitely we're going to have some fresh ribs. We're making them right now. We're getting them ready, saucing them up for tomorrow. So God willing that everything be ready tomorrow, yeah. My favorite thing is the big hamburgers they got. It's real juicy and sometimes it's just overwhelming. So uh, everything is so great and tasty on the truck, yes. Come on down here. Don't miss out before we sell out and come through here. We love it and Akron is the best. We've been doing this for over 20 some years. We've been doing it for ourselves since 2020. So we've been doing it for a while. <laughs> I do it for the fun, man. It's fun. I love being around the people, being able to converse with everybody and, you know, impress everybody with our ribs. We are the second place winners of last year. <laughs> Magic is Malloy's love. <laughs> Remember low and slow. You don't have to rush it. The lid is your friend. That's the best way I can put it. <laughs> well, we're located in Richmond Heights, Ohio, which is right a suburb of Cleveland. Um, when we're not here, we're in other places. Like next week, we'll, uh, where is that next week? Columbus in two weeks, I'm sorry. Cincinnati Jazz Festival, Toledo, Detroit. So we got a little ways to go this summer. Well, besides Malloy's Barbecue, <laughs> all the other vendors, we have a good time. We travel together. It's a fun time, you know. Come on out, enjoy the ribs, enjoy the music. We got a good music coming up. What is the fireworks display for the 4th of July? This. <laughs> no, cooking and impressing people with my food. You know who I am? I'm the owner of Porky Chicks Barbecue, and uh, we come to Akron. We've been coming here about 12 years now, and uh, we, we love the town, good atmosphere, and uh, love bringing Arkansas-style ribs up here to uh, Akron, Ohio. You know, obviously ribs. That's what it's about, you know. Our, our uh, slogan is, who knows a rib better than a Razorback? <laughs> You know, I've always loved cooking. I've been in the restaurant business since I was 16 years old and uh, decided I wanted to go out and uh, start competing locally and then uh, nationally. And we travel basically six months a year and do uh, about 25 shows a year. And we've won everywhere from defending champions right here last year from Akron, Ohio to Reno, Nevada. We've done them all. Bree, Ohio. We've been everywhere. You know, it's a lovely town. Um, you know, obviously other bigger towns has bigger venues, but for the south of the town and uh, the people love ribs here and they love barbecue. Right here, look at this. Beautiful ribs. Why else would you not want to come down here? Well, we had a restaurant in Medina for uh, 17 years and uh, COVID hit and we took a hit and uh, we decided it was time to make a change. Um, and I've fell in love with barbecue years and years ago and decided that's what we wanted to do. All right. uh, so three years ago we opened up a barbecue restaurant in the same spot. Uh, we get invited to a rib cook-off uh, that first year in Parma. Um, did okay. We had no idea what we were getting into. Uh, went to Barberton that same year, won first place in Barberton. Um, and then last year we went to 12 rib cook-offs. And here we are doing 15 this year. Uh, first time we've been here. Um, 
they told us to be ready. Um, I was not ready for that lunch crowd we just had. Uh, I thought we were getting ready for tomorrow, and all we did was get ready for this afternoon. So it's it's been a good day already. Now, do you know enough about the the, the business to give us the, all the secrets to good barbecue? No, I don't. Not uh, yet. Yeah, Smoke no. and time, low and fat, low and slow. You can say that. If you like working with Dad, tell us about working with Dad. How much fun it is? <laughs> so much fun. You get paid, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's it's incredible. It's Fourth of July. Um, celebrate America, um, our freedom. Uh, why not? Weather's gonna be beautiful tomorrow. A little iffy today, but tomorrow's gonna be beautiful. Oh, the crowd, the people, the you know, we won. So people's choice up there. So um, yeah, great crowd. You know, fireworks night last year was just tremendous. Consistency. Um, our product. You know, we. We temp every every rack of ribs. Um, you know everything's made the same every day. Um, we don't cut any corners. We're cleanly. Uh, no, we don't have a brick and mortar. Um, the the main boss man. Uh, he's a uh, he's in carpentry. Um, I'm a high school principal, so you know. I, and I always compared it to football when I played football. You know, you couldn't wait for season to be over, two days to be over, and then you couldn't wait for two days to start. So, you know, it just kind of gets in your blood and. You know, you hook back up with all these other uh, rivers and, you know, we get back together and see what people have changed and what they're doing and, and the crowds, the people. I mean, it's just fun. Before I got into, I mean, I've been in the barbecue for over 30 years, but I also did concessions here. And so we've been here for pretty much through the whole nine yards. We've been through the COVID loss and then, then the, the other thing that happened and um, we just uh, like it here. I've been uh, dealing with the city for a long time because I have another, we're, they're my client during the winter. So we've always been together and uh, we do work well together. We've, we've been cooking ribs for now over 30 years. Um, we've won over 350 awards around the country. We used to f travel as far west as we used to get, we were in Colorado, we've been in Phoenix, we've been in New York, Boston, Florida. Um, we've been all around and we serve a very good, fine product. And as everybody here does, but uh, I think we won, I don't remember what we won last year, but I have won best ribs here more than once, probably five or six times. Um, I like Akron because it's hometown for me, pretty close. I live in Medina, so. It's great. Thank you. We also had a chance to catch up with some of the attendees here who are having a great time. Uh, certainly uh, ribs, ribs, and more ribs. Absolutely beautiful day today. And the weather outlook is good uh, for the remainder of the time. Of course, again, through Saturday night at 11, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. the next couple days. This is really a great festival. Listen to what people had to say about coming down here. We've been having a great time. Everything's delicious. Yes. There's a lot of cool people around. It's been pretty cool, man. We went over to Barley House and got one of them uh, special cups where you can walk around and have a couple drinks. Oh, and yeah, whatnot, you so. can walk downtown and drink now. <laughs> Ribs, got a little kielbasa. Or, uh, she got some fries. French fries. Because it's Akron, and Akron's fantastic, and everybody in, fan in Akron is fantastic. It's so diverse, and it's a great community, and there's a bunch of great food, and all kinds of great places to go to, like on this street, local businesses. I got. I don't think I have anything to add, man. That pretty much sums it up. We love. Um, we come every year, even before she was born. She's 16. The Rib White and Blue Fest every year, and uh, we enjoy uh, some of the vendors. We try to pick and choose. I take some back to my husband, and um, it's a good event. Very good. Well, for one reason, it's open. The mayor didn't shut it down. <laughs> and it's, it's just really, really good food. Mm -hmm. Really good food. Like the weather's good, perfect. Right? Yeah. We come here after hours barbecue, and I got the um, the two meal, the brisket, um, the rib combo with cowboy beans and cornbread. And I'm taking that home, but we've had that before, and it's good. And Reagan, when she ate her food, what did you get? And I got the um, pool pork sandwich, and I made it a at dinner. And with that, I got some um, cowboy beans and the applesauce. And also, I have a good recommendation. So like. They have this fried veggie stand oh, yeah. over there. Go and get the onion rings. They are huge. <laughs> they are huge. 
Seriously. Pretty good. Show everybody on the TV program how it's done. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coverage to come from the Rib White and Blue Festival here in downtown Akron. Reporting for WAOH Television, I'm Dan Mosier.